birthday guy. No, he can't do that. He's for the blow. He about to slap the hell out of you. Oh! Overseas, we are out here at the airport in Naha, Japan, on our way to where were we going? Phuket, it's lit. Phuket, Thailand, that's where we're going. So, I'm gonna show y'all around, I'm gonna show you what's popping out there, I'm gonna show you all the things that we're about to get into. I really don't know what we're about to get into yet, but there's so much to do out there, like it's gonna be crazy. So, just follow and I'm gonna me. I'm gonna show y'all how to get. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit that out now because this is a PG channel, but it's okay. Yeah, we're gonna get lit. We're gonna get messed up, is what messed she meant up. to say. We're gonna get messed up. And uh, not just that, like, it's a whole adventure. I'm gonna show you things like you can do with your fam, with your girl, your boy, or you with, your, with the homies like I am right now. Ooh, man, it's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be crazy, but y'all stay tuned. It's going down make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that like button let's go all right next stop Singapore then straight to Phuket let's do it and we are here just like that let me get the camera to clear up oh yes look we are at the suite and uh, let's take a look at this day Is the beach. Can you see it now? Wait in the morning. That's gonna look so nice. So this is day one in Phuket. We're gonna take a rest and uh, pick it up again tomorrow. Day one was more like night one, just getting settled in and used to our hotel. But for the next day, we wanted to do something a little more adventurous, a little more exciting. So we decided to do some ATV riding. I was able to find out about this by going on the TripAdvisor app, selecting things to do in Phuket, and found amazing quad bike ATV tours, and was even able to book my ticket over the phone. The instructor gives you a quick lesson on how to operate these bad boys, and then you're ready to go. After an hour of riding, we sat and talked to the locals for a little bit, was able to purchase our pictures, went back to the hotel and showered, and was off to Bangla Street. Finally arriving at our destination, we decided to get something to eat at a Thai seafood restaurant. Now one thing about Phuket is there are restaurants and vendors everywhere, so there's never a shortage on food. There's so many choices that you just can't go wrong with whatever you pick. We all decided to go with the shrimp fried rice and tiger prawns, a really good choice if you ever stop by this restaurant. And we topped it off with a bottle of champagne before we hit the night. The nightlife on Bangla Street does not disappoint. Every day the streets are flooded with people with really good bars and vendors everywhere you turn. It's really hard to find a place that you won't enjoy. It didn't take us long to stumble across Hollywood Phuket. A club with a really good atmosphere that provided us with a booth and bottle service at a reasonable price. Hey. 
Saya The next afternoon, we took a taxi from the hotel to Cat 2 Elephant Park. There, we were able to take an elephant ride and tour through the Phuket jungle, looking and listening to all the sights and sounds. On these elephants, you nervous? I'm nervous. Sure. You scared? You scared? Mm -hmm. Soon after we left Elephant Park, we arrived at Tiger Kingdom, stepping inside the tiger's den. Now I don't know about the ladies, but of course I wasn't scared. Day four is all about island hopping. Maya Bay and Kai Island, taking a uh, speedboat. This is all the locations it's taking us, taking us to Monkey Island. Monkey? Monkeys, yes, monkeys. You can see the monkeys. We will be doing snorkeling. Show the snorkel gear you got. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see Fifi Island here in Thailand. Let's get it. After making our way over to the pier, we then boarded the boat, which took approximately two hours to get to Fifi Island. Once there, the tour began with hopping from one island to another, with taking periodic stops to take pictures and get in the water for a swim and snorkel. Also stopped at one of the island resorts where we were fed and able to shop at the many souvenir stores. The entire trip lasted about five to six hours. Cats and dogs. Are we gonna make it back to yeah. to shore? We see. Look, stay tuned into the boat ride. Oh man, that looks. Damn, that looks crazy. The last day concludes our trip in this beautiful paradise. We spent most of the morning packing but we weren't leaving without having some last minute fun. Stopping by at a breakfast cafe, getting street food at a few vendors, doing some last minute shopping, hitting the beach one last time, and of course I had to get Tom Young Goon and Pad Thai before I left for good. I'm